Hey, what is going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege. <laughs> Let me try that again. Hey, what is going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life. Bring the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning. Happy, what is it, Monday? Happy Monday to each and every one of you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a crazy time to be an early adopter in this new asset class that is the digital asset space. I'm just going to cover this real quick. The block. CEO has resigned. It is interesting, interesting, interesting stuff. And the reason why it's really, really, really interesting, the reason why it's really interesting is that Sam Bankman Freed is in the mix again. Now, I'm I'm just curious. Is there, is there someone, is there someone who truly believes that this dude was just in the space just because? That this dude just came into the digital asset space out of nowhere, just randomly entered the space, became a multi-billionaire, took down major crypto firms like Celsius, Three Hours Capital, rumored, almost factually rumored, that, he's that he was responsible for the Terra Luna crash as well, has, remit has admitted publicly, has admitted publicly let me say that again, has admitted publicly to selling and, and or issuing, selling fake Bitcoin to his users. So you're telling me this 20-something-year-old, however old he is, kid just came out of nowhere, took down multi-billion dollar digital asset firms, crypto firms. Now we get, now we get some insight into the fact that he bought out a media company, one that was highly reg regarded in terms of crypto, a crypto reporting firm like Cointelegraph, crypto reporting uh, news article um, firm like Cointelegraph, if you will, but not Cointelegraph, right? Not leaning in one direction, not a, not a Bitcoin or Ethereum maxi-led uh, news reporting firm, but just very factual. And Sam Bankman Freed, is behind that as well. He was behind the whole CEO being replaced. I'm going to read this article. It says, the block CEO resigns after failure to disclose loans from Bankman Freed's Alameda. Now, a lot of people don't know that this current CEO, this current CEO took out the original CEO. I mean, but, which was Mike Dudas, I believe. So this, is, this article here. So the block founder says he's exploring ways the founder, which is to do this dude, is finding ways to get the publication into trustworthy hands. Hidden loans from former FTX mogul Sam Bakeman Free, Free shake the crypto focused outlet. Crypto news publication of the block announced today that his CEO, Michael McCaffrey, has resigned after failing to disclose a series of loans from former FTX CEO, Sam Bankman Free. And the reason why this is as important is because the loan of this money, obviously, where did that come from? Obviously, he was taking users' funds. It's Sam Bankman Free, we all know, is taking users' funds to do all kinds of stuff. He loaned this Michael McCaffrey, quote unquote, this money so that he could take over the current. CEO and buy that current CEO out. The capital was used in part to finance an employee-led, quote unquote, buyout of the company, among other extracurricular activities. McCaffrey will be replaced by the company's chief revenue officer, Bobby Moran, and effective immediately, according to a statement. No one at the block. How could it be an employee buyout if no one at no employees knew about when, where the money came? McCaffrey will be replaced by the here's how because Sam Bankman Freed entered into an agreement with Michael McCaffrey to take this down to take the current CEO out. That's how no one knew, including. The dude, the dude they took out. 
No one at the block had any knowledge of this financial arrangement, this, uh, this quote unquote employee buyout so that the employees own it. McCaffrey confirmed that in a series of tweets Friday, I didn't disclose the loan to anyone. Absolutely no one at the block knew about the financial arrangement between my holding company and Sam Bankman Free. Again, I want to point out to you, how is it that this dude gets this access and this goes on a tearing apart of companies? This was, a, this was his move to be able to control a major crypto outlet. And you're telling me that this was just some dude that was living in the Bahamas? Is that what you're telling me? This was just a dude just living in the Bahamas. And he took down all these companies. And now Goldman Sachs is, is going around buying, buying them up for pennies on a dollar. All these political donations, major ties to one particular side of the aisle who are not crypto friendly. But I confirmed the series of tweets. I didn't disclose a loan to anyone. Absolutely no one at the block knew about the financial arrangement between my holding company and SBF, including the editorial and the research teams. He claimed his rationale for this decision was to not compromise the objectivity of coverage surrounding SBF. The block was founded in 2018 by Mike Dudas. In 2020, McCaffrey took over as CEO. By April 2021, McCaffrey led a buyout of all the block investors, making the firm owned by employees, with McCaffrey as the biggest stakeholder. Even today, he remains the company's majority stakeholder. This is what Dudas, the original founder, said. Dudas told TechCrunch in an exchange after the news came out that he is exploring what, if any, avenues exist to get the block into trustworthy ownership? Do this, do this, Mike do this, explained to TechCrunch that at the time of the block's sale, his understanding was that Mike McCaffrey's family. Now, where would he get that from? Where would he get that idea from? Mike McCaffrey's family was wealthy and loaned him money to buy out his state, quote unquote. And, this, and the VCs so the team could assume full independent ownership. I, I, again, I'm just going to say this to you guys. Tell me how it is that Sam Bankman Freed is getting the access and able to do the things that he's doing. You're telling me he just came up with, oh, yeah, buy out media companies. Oh, yeah, just um, trade against your users. Oh, yeah. Use Alameda as a hedge fund. Oh, yeah. Take out Three Hours Capital. Take out Terra Luna. Take down um, Voyager. Take down Sell. You tell him he just came up with all this stuff. This dude was just a trader. He was a really, really smart guy who was a trader. You telling me he came up with all these ideas and schemes to bring the industry, the digital asset industry to its knees? You telling me he did that on his own? I remind you, I remind you of the Mark Yesko, the CEO of, um, I forget the CEO of what crypto firm he is, but it's him and Anthony Pompliano. He said there is no way, that he, he's checked into it with his guys, his resources. There is no way that this was the mastermind of Sam Bakeman Free and Caroline, whatever her name is, at Alameda. There is no way that that's a possibility. It's important for us to realize, guys, we can no longer afford to be naive. This is a war. This is a war from the uh, incumbent banking system and the regulators trying to pull us back into the liquidity pool. Why do you think Goldman Sachs is going around buying um, assets on the cheap? Why? They're trying to turn this over to their buds. That was the plan from the beginning. And it is. It is with the permission and blessing of this current administration. That is the deal. All right, guys, listen, this wraps up your XRP Ripple Daily News in around zero to 10 minutes. I hope it has been of value to you. If it has, do me a favor, hit that like button. It helps with the YouTube on uh, algorithm. We know the channel has been shadow banned for close to a year now because we keep reporting the truth and that's all good. If you enjoy the hangout, do me a favor, 
consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that notification bell so that you know whenever we go live or whenever we upload a video. I'm going to end this video <laughs> like I do all my videos and remind you guys of this, that old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather that we remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought. And the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya.